Hello everyone, this is Omar Krad, an ophthalmologist in Southern California, and today I'm going to speak about why I think Clarion is a great upgrade to the Alcon lens implant lineup. This video is not sponsored. A new lens implant material was needed because the older generation of Alcon Acrosoft lens implants tended to form glistenings in the lens material. In this image, you have light coming from the left hitting the anterior lens surface or the front of the lens and then bouncing off the posterior lens surface the back of the lens and then coming back to the front of the lens the anterior lens surface and in between you can see these little dots these are called glistenings and these are within the lens material itself glistenings are the result of the lens material and manufacturing process molded lens implants tend to have these little vacuoles or space in the lens material in which water can accumulate in later causing these little dots to be seen. Many studies were done to assess the effect of glistenings on the vision including at the Moran Eye Center in Utah and they found that more than half of these Acrosoft lenses have glistenings at one year and a hundred percent of them have some degree of glistenings after multiple years. And while most patients would never notice symptoms from these dots in the lens material, they can decrease overall vision quality if they are severe. Even after multiple years, most patients have mild to moderate glistenings without noticeable symptoms. Severe glistenings are uncommon. Here you have an Alcon monofocal lens with the Acrosoft material and you see so many glistenings in the lens material. This patient was not bothered by it, but these glistenings form very slowly and too gradual for a patient to notice symptoms. Whereas look at this Symphony lens implant by J&J. This one is probably six years old and the lens implant is pristine. It looks like it's brand new, like it was just implanted yesterday. There's no scatter of light off the lens surface. It looks absolutely perfect. This lens implant is not injection molded. It is lathe cut. Here you have another J&J lens implant. It's a monofocal lens implant implanted about 10 years ago. And also looks perfect. No, no glistenings. The lens implant looks brand new like it was implanted this past week. A great job by J&J in terms of material and manufacturing. And don't get me wrong, Alcon makes some amazing lens implants like uh, the, their Toric lens implants, the Panoptics lens implants, the Vividi. And that's uh, all the more reason why eye surgeons like myself could not wait for Alcon to improve their lens material. And here we are finally with new lens material to resist glistenings. Uh, it's called Clarion. And Clarion is available with the Panoptics lens with the Vividi lens, with their monofocal lens, their toric lenses that help reduce astigmatism. The manufacturing process has been changed and also Clarion contains HEMA instead of PIMA. HEMA stands for hydroxyethyl methacrylate and PIMA is phenylethyl methacrylate. Here is a Clarion panoptics lens that was recently implanted in the eye. Over time, we're going to have to see how these lenses hold up. Um, but in Japan, there were uh, some studies done on this material. In this study that was published in the Journal of Cataract and Refractive Surgery, uh, after one year, there were no cases of glistenings compared to over 50% with the older material. And this other longer-term study followed patients for nine years, and there were no cases of glistenings or surface light scattering. So that is very promising, and I really hope that this proves to be the case after many years. Only time will tell, of course. Um, there are some people who might say, well, I just got a panoptic six months ago or a year ago. Should I exchange the lens for the new version? Um, and I, my opinion is absolutely not. Um, most patients with uh, glistenings do not show uh, any significant symptoms. And if for some reason you did not like your panoptics or Vividi lens implant in the first year of having it, then it's definitely not glistenings because uh, glistenings in the beginning are either non-existent or extremely mild. 
Surgery to exchange a lens implant is not risk-free and it does not guarantee an improvement in vision. It's just the nature of technology that it advances. I mean, you buy a TV now and in a year or two your TV is going to feel like it's obsolete because there's a new version out. And uh, same thing goes for cell phones and same thing goes for lens implants. So there's always going to be something better in the future. What I would suggest though is that if you have upcoming cataract surgery or lens replacement surgery is that you ask your surgeon uh, which lens implant they are going to use and let them know if you are getting a Panoptix or Vividi or any Alcon lens that you want the Clarion version because there are still some surgery centers that don't have the Clarion versions there and they probably are going to try to use up the existing stock of lenses before they get the new Clarion version of the lens implants. So if you are a patient going to have surgery, ask your doctor for the Clarion version. That's what I would do. I hope you found that helpful. Thank you for watching.